Well, I was nowhere near. I've been playing for a bit. And what it is, is it's A, A, B, A, F, A, D, D, B. Make anything out of you. You know, every single 265, apparently there was 358 one somewhere as well. I think it was that red icing on the red writing on the stairs. I said there was a message with that. Fuck that. Well, this goes on. I could sort out me fucking like on that shit. is creepy as fuck to be fair. I hope it's one of those that goes on for a while, but I hope it doesn't go too far and become tedious, you know what I mean? What the fuck is all this shit? Turn the volume up for. Shut the fuck up. Is it going to crash? Oh, there we go. Chapter 3. Starting to worry a bit then. At least we're not chopping our own hand off at the beginning of this. Well, thank you, Jacob. We should call it a day. You arrived with such a short notice. It's getting late, so you should go to bed. I'll show you around first thing tomorrow morning. That's a psychiatrist. Dude, it's gonna stop us from being crazy. But it's not doing a very good job, is it? So we should suck it. Jacob? Are you alive, Jacob? Do you want to have sex, Jacob? I mean, time to wake up, Jacob. But we can still have sex if you want, Jacob. Where the hell am I now? Huh? My flashlight is gone. Fuck. Day one. Chapter three. Day one. I fucking missed. Oh my god. Right. Let's check these drawers for my flashlight. Junk. I don't need it. Good morning, Jacob. How did you sleep? Uh, morning. Hey, I know you from the motel. 
Let's talk about these things later, Jacob. But now, follow closely and I'll show you around. This is where I killed the children, and this is where I raped the children. I thought we'd, uh, multitask in one area. I mean, oh yes, your room is number six. We have nine patient rooms here in Moon Peaks, Kara. You can find most of these rooms in the hallway. You can move freely about, but remember, the good man is Jacob. Okay, let us continue. Here we have one of the main wards of our care. Most of our second floor is simple square, so get to rank is pretty easy, but I'll show you. Come on, Jacob. From here, you can go to our little entertainment room. This is where people usually gather together for recreation. Once we are finished with our tour, be sure to check it out. <coughs> I like that clock in the foreground. It's pretty cool. Here we have our fireplace. Pretty obvious. Nothing quite as relaxing as the sound of a fire and the flickering of the flames. Hey, Doc. Morning, Mark. How are you today? Pretty good, thank you, Doc. Well, who is this? Do we have a new patient? Yes, Mark. This is Jacob. Welcome to the Looney Bin, Jacob. Jacob arrived here late yesterday evening. Would you like to give him breathing room, Mark? And of course, sorry, Doc. That's fine, Mark. I'm sure you two will get along well. But now, where were we? Now from here you can get to both our entertainment and art therapy rooms. We keep our art therapy room locked. When we don't use it, you'll get to see it at some point. It's a really breathtaking place. At the far end you can find the elevator that will take you to the first floor. It's smaller than the living quarters up here. But we go there every now and then to eat, for example. But let's not go there now, but up here. Come on, Jacob. He's taking me to the bathrooms. Come on, Jacob, don't go wandering around just yet. Here you can find the bathrooms. We also have two bathrooms downstairs, not much else to see here. Let's continue. Now this bit's boring as fuck. Do we really need this? Here we have restrooms of the patients' rooms. Oh, here we have rest of the patients' room. Oh, the rest of the patients' room, you should say. And here is my office. I always keep my door locked when I'm not present, but if you see me through the window and I don't look too busy, you are welcome to talk to me. Alright, let's get back to your room. This way, Jacob. I'm sorry, Jacob. I'm awfully busy now. So it was a short tour, but feel free to look around. Be sure to talk to all the people. It is breakfast time. You should head downstairs. Once you're familiar with the places and people, come and talk to me and we can bring in your very first hypnotherapy. Okay, thank you Jacob, see you later. Thanks, mister. Ah, oh, pardon me, Clifford Russell at your service. Okay, cheers Cliff. This mine. No, this mine. I'm a six man. No gramophone. Locked. 
locked. This is the entertainment room, so they say. I think. Not much to do here. Painting therapy, that gets locked in it. Oh, well, that's released to the fireplace. Hey, Mark, was it? Hello, Jacob. Yeah, they call me Mark. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. Yeah, I think people are having breakfast downstairs. It gets more lively once they're back up. I see. Sorry to ask, Jacob, but you okay? You look a bit distracted. I'm fine, thanks. Just a bit tired. Yeah, that's why we hope that helps. I must have a look around. Why am I? Don't you dare, Jacob. Don't touch my gramophone. Touch my crayons. I'll see you on the flip flop.